Hello everyone, welcome to the talk with Max. My name is Pastor Amaka. I want to appreciate you for watching my, my last videos. And in this video today, I am going to be talking about can God trust you with pain? I'm going to be talking about can God trust you with pain? What is pain? There are several questions that are asked about pain. And in this video, I'm going to be asking the same questions. What is pain? Why pain? Must I go through pain? Is pain necessary? What is so special about pain that God should trust us with pain? What is so special about pain that you should treasure pain? What is so special about pain that pain should be valued? Should I value pain? Is pain necessary? Must I go through pain? These are the certain questions that are asked about pain. So as we go on, I would like to start with what is pain? What is the meaning of pain? Pain is the condition or fact of suffering, you know, especially mentally as opposed to physical pain. What is so necessary about pain that I should go through it? We are going to be talking about the two perspectives of pain. The first is the perspective of man. How does man see pain? And the second is how does God see pain? God's perspective of pain. In the Bible, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, from verses 8 to 11, if you read it, I'm going to major on verses 8 and 9. It says, I, my thoughts are higher than your thoughts, and my ways are higher than your ways. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my thoughts higher than your thoughts, and my ways higher than your ways. The way God sees pain is not the way man sees pain. Now let's look at the perspective of man. The seven perspectives of man towards pain. Number one, man sees pain as a problem. Whenever man experiences pain or encounters pain or sees pain, he thinks, oh, there is a problem. He begins to ask the question, why, why, why? Why me? That's the first perspective of pain. The second perspective, human perspective of pain, is that man sees pain as pain. Whenever pain happens in the life of any man he begins to shout oh i'm hot oh why am i why this pain why am i hurting and all that so man sees pain as pain literally the third perspective of man towards pain is that pain is pestering they see pain as something that has come to pester them something that is not allowed something that should not be it's a pester to humans the fourth is that man sees pain as something that has come to pummel. What is pummeling? Something that has come to beat down. So that's not exactly the way God sees pain. The fifth way of seeing pain is that man sees pain as punishment. So whenever anything painful, anything pain comes around man, he begins to ask, what did I do? Why this punishment? Oh God, why are you punishing me? All that the human is thinking about at that time when he's experiencing pain is why this punishment? Pain is a punishment. But that's not the way God sees pain. The sixth way that man sees pain is that pain is a punch. Pain is something that has come to punch you. It's a bolt. It's like a blow. But that's not the way God sees pain. The seventh way that man sees pain is that pain is... A prohibition something that should be prohibited oh it's not supposed to happen in my life but then the question is in whose life is pain supposed to happen so we are going to be looking at all this if you look at them all this perspective of human perspective of pain is negative man sees pain as something that is negative because he sees pain as something negative there is a tendency to fight it there is a tendency to reject it oh i reject it i cancel it i don't take it i bind it but that's not the way god sees pain how does god see pain what are the seven perspectives god's seven perspectives of pain the first is that God sees pain as a process pain is a process unlike man that sees it as punishment it's a process whenever pain happens God will usually use it to bring something to bring process to happen in order to bring man to a place of productivity or to bring man to a place of purpose pain precedes purpose God has given purpose to man then most of the time he will usually use whatever he has to make that come to pass most of the time he will use pain whenever pain comes you know that there is a process god is going somewhere and the best thing to do at that particular time is to follow god to follow the process and true if you follow that process at the end of it you will find the purpose of pain so pain comes 
for a purpose. If only that men can look at it. Whenever they see pain, they, they begin to think, what is God working at? What is the purpose of this pain? Then at the end of the day, they will be able to realize the purpose. Most times man fails in pain because he doesn't have a clue that what God is doing is a process that is going to lead to a purpose. God will usually use pain to bring the purpose of man to fulfillment. Then the second way that God sees pain is that pain is pain. Every pain pays at the end of the day. Every pain pays. So most of the time, if you are able to endure the process of pain at the end of the day, you will receive the payment. All these people in the Bible, like Moses, Jesus, David, Daniel, Hannah, they all went through this process. And at the end of the process of pain, at the end of it was waiting for them, the payment. If you see Hannah in the Bible, after waiting, God trusted her with the pain of barrenness. But at the end of the day, she had her Samuel. She carried her joy. And not just Samuel, she carried five other children at the end. So God will usually use the pain to bring a payment at the end. The third way that God sees pain is that pain is plastering. God uses pain to beautify. When you are constructing a building, for instance, a house undergoes plastering almost towards the end of the construction. So that is the indication that God does not give pain. He does not usually trust pain with babes. He doesn't. Pain is for matured people. So if God knows that you are matured, most of the time he will bring pain in order to beautify the person. If you you are building if you're constructing a house or your building is under construction towards the tail end there is the plastering and when the plastering is done you begin to see the beauty of the building the beauty begins to come out so pain is a way that God uses it's a process that God uses to bring out beauty in man before we continue please like comment subscribe thank you then the fourth perspective of god towards pain is that pain is a push most of the time we don't want to push to do anything but when pain comes when god brings pain into your life it pushes you you will normally see that there are things you won't do you know ordinarily except you are pushed by pain there are things you won't want to do there are things you will let be except the pain comes but when pain comes you will realize that there are certain things that you are pushed to do and at the end of the day beauty will come out at the end of the day you will see that you have done things that you wouldn't normally do ordinarily except for the push of pain then the fifth way that God sees pain is pain is for pruning pain is for pruning while man sees pain as punishment God sees pain as pruning what is pruning every process of pruning is the process of taking out things that are unwanted pain is the process of taking out things that are unwanted in you there are things that god does not want to see in you maybe in character maybe the, the, the way you behave maybe attitudes maybe there is a way he wants you to go and if you're not going that way it will bring pain and what does this pain do most of the time it will prune you there are things that are dropped in the process of pain people are recovered in the process of pain there are things they begin to do which they will not ordinarily do if the grounds were green pain is pruning for god then the sixth one the sixth way that god sees pain is polishing pain is a polish and when pain comes god uses pain to polish people to bring out the best in the person who is undergoing that pain can god trust you with pain looking at these ways that god sees pain can god trust you with pain you have to answer that question the seventh way god sees pain is that pain is promotion whenever god allows pain to be experienced by anyone it means that god has promotion at the back of his mind most of the time god will use pain to bring somebody through the process so that he can bring promotion into the person's life in the next video i will be talking about the properties of pain thank you for watching this video please like comment subscribe and then click on the bell icon so that you know when i post my next video